Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to add some tan to him. Well, he looks a bit pale, this guy, and this is a stock photo. Um, so, let's pretend that he went on holidays uh, and he took, he took a photo of him with a bit of tan. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to duplicate the layer, so command J on a Mac or control J on a PC, or you can even drag to the new layer icon, the layers like so. Uh, so, with top layer, I'm going to change the branding mode to linear burn. And yes, it does look horrendous, but stay with me, stay with me. This is very, very cool. And now I'm just going to add a new layer mask. And I'm going to hold Alt or Option on the Mac while I do that. So I get the layer mask, but in black. So it's hiding all the effect of the top layer. So now with a brush painting in white I'm just going to get the big brush first, soft brush and I'm going to start painting his skin. Don't worry, I know I know it looks horrendous but bury me, bury me. So I'm just painting like so on his skin and it doesn't need to be very precise and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going like so and like so and because we're working on a layer mask if we go over certain areas it's not a problem because we can invert the colors and fix any problem. So we're nearly done anyway so there you go like so like so. Even though I'm using Photoshop CS6, do not worry, you can do this with earlier versions of Photoshop. So it's not only CS6 that you can achieve this. So I'm going like so. Like so. And a bit more here. Okay. It's not too bad. So now I'm going to zoom in so I can get a bit more like so yeah now I'm going to swap the colors as you can see here I'm going just pressing the letter X on your keyboard I'm going to change as you can see I'm changing the colors and I want to paint in black but I'm going to resize a bit my brush so just bringing back the other layer so like so and believe me, you don't need to be very, very precise, and you'll see why in a minute. So, this is okay, it's not too bad. I'm going to back again to black, like so, like so, and now I'm going to change to white, make sure that his eyes are okay. Okay, then, there we go. It's not too bad. And now it doesn't look good at all. But if we lower the opacity to, let's say, 28%, something like that, 22, look at the difference. This is before you went on holidays, and this is after you went on holidays. As you can see, it doesn't take too long to fake some tan in a person's face and uh, obviously while doing the layer mask you don't need to be very precise but obviously try to not go over the teeth lips and eyes obviously but you can get away with eyebrows no problem whatsoever as you can see right here so this is before and this is after thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now